So Fujitsu thinks that gender pay gap reporting is a really useful tool that will help us think about diversity and understand what we can do better. Because gender diversity, especially at senior levels, translates into more business growth and potential profit to the bottom line. Hugely committed to this programme as a business leader with Fujitsu. To get the very best business results, we need to have the best talent across the organisation. And this is about being fair and equitable to all our employees. Fujitsu closing our gender pay gap is really important for us to attract female talent to power our future success. So in the tech sector, we have got a higher than average gender pay gap issue and we really want to encourage women into the sector and, more importantly, be fit for digital. I think it's absolutely fantastic that Fujitsu is an early adopter in terms of publishing the pay gap. It's big absolute volumes that Fujitsu is the place where women can come to succeed. Equal pay and gender pay don't fix themselves. You know, we can't wave the magic fairy dust and it, it changes. We have to actually take steps and as a management team, learn what we need to do. So that's leaders, managers, employees, all have a part to play. So we've looked um, at our gender pay gap issues and I'm really pleased to say we have got a robust action plan which we are implementing and sharing um, in our company and I think that over the coming years this was an organisation where women can come to succeed and help us drive further business benefits into Fujitsu. What I would say to other HR directors is this, which is en engage with the subject. I think we've all dealt with equal pay for 30, 40 years as HR directors. Gender pay is a more systemic issue to deal with and actually you need to take a step back make sure you know how that works in your organisation and why there are differences in gender pay. It's a complex area. If you can form and engage a women's network, I think that's tremendously helpful to have people who are passionate and involved in the, the issue and be prepared to be criticised, critiqued and embrace that. I think it's very important if you're going to move ahead to be genuine about this and authentic and people need that these days. So my advice to companies looking at gender pay gaps would be embrace the change that's come in. If you look long and hard and put in the appropriate actions for your organisation, you will deliver longer term business benefits and your employees will recognise that and will welcome the openness and transparency. <laughs>